Welcome to the Bronto YouTube channel. Today, I'll tell you about the design, operation, modes, usage, and settings of the Bronto cooler device OE1000. This information will help to enable reliable operation of this machine over many years. The cooler device OE1000 is designed for cooling products right after processing them in the extruder, or cooling the oil meal right after it has been discharged from the oil press. The main and most important task of this machine is to prevent protein cooking in the hot product. The cooler device OE1000 is operated indoors at temperatures of 5 to 40 degrees centigrade and 80% RH, 25 degrees centigrade. The cooler device is installed on a plane level surface, on the floor, or on a concrete foundation with inclination no greater than 5 mm per meter. There should be a free space of at least one meter near the extradit discharge outlet. The room for the installation must be equipped with a ventilation system. The cooler device consists of three main units, the cyclone, the sleeve, the cooler. Inside the cooler itself, the product's temperature is decreased. The cooler consists of 16 elements, the base, the drive motor, the drum, the screw which is installed inside the drum. The drum with the screw is rotated via drive motor through a chain transmission. Inside the drum, there are paddles that are used to mix the product. The fan. The stand with a slide gate. The upper part of the casing is connected through a softbox with the fan. The slide controls the airflow. The tray. The chain transmission. The supporting rollers the bearing assembly in the feed zone, the bearing assembly in the discharge zone, the left safety guard, the right safety guard, the safety guard of the chain transmission, the support, the control cabinet. On the front of the control cabinet are the units for controlling and visually monitoring the cooler device. Voltage switch powering the control cabinet. The stop button for emergency disengagement of the switches. The fan start stop button for switching the fan monitor on and off. The rotation start stop button for switching the drum motor on and off. The control cabinet is powered by copper wires no less than 1.5 mm squared in size. The cyclone construction with outlet valve consists of the cyclone, the base, the slide gate, the outlet valve, the support. The cooler cyclone is designed for settling dust and small product residues brought into the system by the airflow of the fan. The product settles in the cone part of the cyclone, which joins the outlet valve for further product dischargement into the transport system of the shop. How is the cooler device set up? Pre-operation stage. Inspect equipment for foreign matter before you start the cooler device. Check grease availability in the bearing assembly. If there is no grease, add it. Now check the screw shaft rotation. The right shaft rotation is clockwise in accordance with the arrow on the motor surface. Make sure there are no foreign objects in the inner part of the drum of the cooler device and feeding screw. If you use a bag to collect dust and small product particles from the cyclone, secure the bag on the pipe of the discharge valve. If necessary, adjust the angle of the longitudinal axis of the cooler device through the supports. Close the gate of the pipe. Run a short idle start, no more than one minute, 
make sure of proper operation and the absence of extraneous sounds. How to start the cooler device. Switch on the fan using the button marked fan. Switch on rotation to activate the rotation of the drum. Feed the product into the cooler. With the help of the gate and locking screw, adjust the airflow through the cooler so that the cyclone gets the minimum amount of product. Caution. When adjusting the gate, follow safety requirements. You can get an injury from the drum, which is constantly rotating. Operation principle of the cooler device. The product is fed through the loading hopper on the screw and further it moves along the drum. Inside the drum, there are paddles used to mix the product. The cooler is installed at an angle of five degrees. It allows the product to move along the axis of the drum to the output tray, and from the tray, it moves onto the transport system of the shop. Tilt is adjusted by spinning a screw on the support. As it moves, the product is blown by air from the fan, which delivers the air through the drum. The intensity of blowing is regulated by the gate and retaining screw. Air takes small parts of the product and moves through the sleeves into the cyclone where the parts settle. During the operation, the operator must monitor the product transportation, avoiding letting the product stick to the paddles. How to stop the cooler device. Stop the product from feeding into the cooler device. After discharging the product from the drum using the fan start stop button, switch the fan motor off. Using the rotation start stop button, switch the drum motor off. Close the gate of the fan. After the drive has completely stopped, clean the inner part of the drum and the air intake near the screw feeder. Use the special hatch at the bottom of the casing. Now you know more about the cooler device OE1000's design, pre-operation, startup, and how to operate and stop this machine. I hope this video was useful to you and wish you success with the Bronto cooler device OE1000.